please rise for the graduation processional.
welcome to Auburn University's Fall 2017 Graduation Ceremony. We'll begin our ceremony today with the presentation of the colors. I ask that all gentlemen please remove your headdress for the presentation of the colors and during the national anthem. Please remain standing. March on the colors. Matthew Hawk, Associate Professor of Voice, will lead us in singing our national anthem. He will be accompanied by Auburn University Graduation Band, conducted by Dr. Rick Good, Director of Bands. Please be seated. Graduation is one of the most distinguished and important ceremonies we host here at Auburn University. It is the symbolic closing of a very transformative chapter in your academic pursuits and the launch of a new chapter, one that holds great promise and limitless possibility. I am grateful to celebrate this momentous occasion with each and every one of you. I would now like to introduce some members of the platform party. Others will be introduced later in this ceremony. As I call an individual's name, please stand. Mrs. Sarah Newton, Auburn University Board of Trustees. Dr. Timothy Businger, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Bobby Woodard, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. John Mason, Vice President for Research and Economic Development. Dr. Taffy Benson Clayton, Vice President for Inclusion and Diversity. Ms. Jane DeFalco Parker, Vice President for Development and President of the Auburn University Foundation. Mr. Lee Armstrong, General Counsel. Ms. Bonnie McEwen, Dean of Libraries. Dr. Daniel Swantek, Chair of the University Senate and Professor in the Department of Psychology in the College of Liberal Arts. Dr. William Powell, Graduation Marshal and Professor in the Department of Music, also in the College of Liberal Arts. Dr. Alan Wilson, Mace Bear and Associate Professor in the School of Fisheries, Aquaculture, and Aquatic Sciences in the College of Agriculture. 
Dr. George Crandall, Associate Dean of the Graduate School. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Wellborn, Commanding Officer, Air Force ROTC. Lieutenant Colonel Rashawn Steele, Commanding Officer, Army ROTC. Captain Willie Billingsley, Commanding Officer, Naval ROTC. Mr. Rick Smith, Graduation Reader and Lecturer in the School of Communications and Journalism. And Mr. Steve Geis, Interpreter for the Deaf, Office of Accessibility. Let's have a round of applause for this very special group of individuals. <laughs> Graduates, our faculty members have played a major role in preparing you for the next steps in your lives. They have mentored you, challenged you, and propelled you forward. Will members of the faculty please rise? Everyone, please join me in applauding these tireless individuals who have devoted their time and efforts to shape these graduates. I would now like to ask our candidates for graduation to please stand. Graduates, you heard this. Your, these seats here are filled with your biggest supporters, your friends and your family. They have worked and wished and waited for this day almost as much as you have. Go it, <laughs> they have come from far and wide to celebrate with you today. They have encouraged you throughout the pursuit of your degree. Let's give them a round of applause and thank them for their support. Please be seated. Graduates, you are joining an incredible family of Auburn graduates. Since our establishment in 1856, Auburn has awarded more than 315,000 degrees. This fall, we are awarded 1,683 degrees at the doctorate, master's, and bachelor levels. Our graduates have moved on to make meaningful impacts in our community, our state, our nation, and around the globe. I wish all of you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I look forward to following your success and seeing your mark on the world. Today, we are very fortunate to have Presiding Justice Harold Melton of the Supreme Court of the State of Georgia with us today to deliver our graduation address. Presiding Justice Melton was born in Washington, D.C., and grew up in East Point, Marietta, Georgia. From there, he came to Auburn, where he was very much part of the campus community. He made history here as the first African-American student to be elected president of the Student Government Association. He graduated. <laughs> he graduated from Auburn in 1988 with a degree in international business, went on to the University of Georgia, where he earned his Juris Doctor in 1991. Presiding Justice Melton has spent his career in service to the state of Georgia at the Georgia Department of Law. He was actively involved in the administration of Georgia's tobacco settlement, and he was a citizen's advocate in his role as section leader over the state's consumer interest division. He was later named executive counsel to Governor Sonny Perdue, where as a trusted advisor, he represented the governor on statewide legal issues, including Georgia's water rights disputes and the delivery of criminal justice services in the state. In 2005, Governor Purdue recognized his service and character with an appointment to the Georgia Supreme Court. Presiding Justice Melton recognized the importance of community, where he works tirelessly to better the lives of others. He is a passionate advocate for youth in his area, serving on the boards of Young Life Ministries and Atlanta Youth Academies. Through his commitment to the law, justice, and community service, all tenets of our Auburn Creed, Presiding Justice Harold Melton is a shining example of a true Auburn man. Please join me in welcoming him back to the Plains. Thank you, Dr. Leaf. It is really good to be back. To Dr. Leaf, to the faculty and friends of Auburn University, 
I want to thank you for inviting me to, to be a part of this ceremony today. To the family and friends of the graduates, there are times in life when it's right to simply just say, hallelujah. <laughs> and to the fall 2017 graduating class of Auburn University, it is a tremendous joy and honor to stand before you at this moment, if even for a brief moment, to say to you, congratulations, War Eagle, you did it. Congratulations on graduating from a fine institution of higher learning. You have made it. It has been a journey. You have pressed forward. You have overcome challenges. And now you stand here at the finish line, which, which just so happens to also be the starting line for the next season of your life. I congratulate you because I know that for many of you, life being the way that it is, the journey has not been easy. You've had to reach down deep to make it to this point. There may have been times when you weren't even sure whether you'd be able to make it at all, and yet you stand here, or actually sit, and you're about to receive your degree. Perhaps if you are like me, I'm a slow reader, and you are happy, or, or at least hopeful, that you will never in life have to take another standardized test. <laughs> Perhaps you had some courses that made it clear to you that you had signed up for the wrong major. So then you had to figure out what to do with the rest of your life. And you really didn't even have a clue where to begin. Well, here's a secret. Most of us, the vast majority of us who graduated, didn't have a clue of what we we're going to do with the rest of our life. I, and I certainly didn't know. Perhaps you had financial problems, or you were worried that the burden was too great for you or your family to bear. Or perhaps there were health scares or accidents uh, involving you or someone close to you. And perhaps you were called upon to be faced with that dilemma of whether you need to put your education on hold in order to deal with even more life-defining matters. Or, or perhaps you just didn't like it here at first. Or perhaps you had some real negative circumstance that you had to deal with. But in any event, you had to overcome. I say that to say that I do not take your sitting here for granted, and you shouldn't either. So congratulations to you. But in the spirit of full disclosure, there's another side to the equation. In the spirit of full disclosure, I feel like I need to offer to you my deepest and most sincere condolences. I offer you my condolences because I remember the strange sense of loss that I felt when I walked away from my graduation ceremony. I didn't know if I was supposed to feel that way. I remember walking out of the Coliseum with my older brother who had graduated the year before. The rest of my family had already returned to the apartment. And he looked at me as we were walking out. We were by ourselves. And he says to me, well, how do you feel? I said, well, I'm not really sure. And he answered for me. He said, well, it kind of stinks, doesn't it? I said, yeah, it, it kind of does. And I had some time to think about it since then. And two things. One, that sense of loss is real. And two, I can explain to you why. When you were little, did you ever go away to sleep away camp for maybe a week or two or maybe even three weeks? And if you liked it there, you loved the people, you loved the counselors, you loved the food, you loved the activities, you loved the scenery. Did you ever wonder what it would be like to stay, to not have to go back home, to make this your permanent place? Well, now you know what it feels like, because you just found out. It feels the way it does when you've had the privilege of attending Auburn University between four to six years. 
In a lot of ways, Auburn is like that perfect summer camp that never quits. Great activities, plenty of sports, decent food, with some pretty rigorous coursework, coursework stuck in the middle of it. And then there are the students, the people, your fellow students. Your fellow students who care enough about the university, who care enough about their college, who care enough about their club or ministry, or whatever organization they're engaged in, and they pour themselves, they pour their energies into whatever those things might be. And because of that, they create this, this synergistic co collective contribution to this atmosphere that we all share that we sentimentally refer to as the Auburn spirit. These are your fellow students who are too many for you to possibly get to know. But you have the sneaking suspicion. You have the sneaking suspicion that as you walk past each other on your way to courses, to your classes, or on your, as you pass each other on a concourse, that because that young man or because that young woman is here on, on this campus, that that's a pretty decent person. You know enough to, about them to know that if given half the chance, you could possibly be very good friends. You would like them, and they would like you. But you couldn't possibly be friends with all these folks, and so you make a compromise. You settle. And as you walk past each other, you just give them a slight nod, or say an occasionally softly spoken, hey. These are special students. You are special students and together you have made this a very special place. And the professors who have taught you recognize the unique nature of this environment for what it is and the honor that it has been to teach you and to be your professors. But when you leave this campus upon graduation, you will enter into a very different world. A world where your potential friends are much fewer and farther in between, you enter into a world where your lunch buddies are, not, are no longer your classmates, but might literally be the parents of your classmates. And to make it worse, they will insist that you call them by their first names, because at least in their minds, you are now peers. You will enter into a world where it becomes much more difficult to take a nap after lunch. For all these reasons, I offer to you my congratulations, but I also offer to you my heartfelt condolences. But now it is time to go, and, and go you must. But go trusting in your training. Trust in your years of development. Trust in the person that you have become. Trust in the person that you are continuing to become because you belong. Wherever you go in your journey, wherever life takes you, you belong. You have been shaped by your parents, by your home life, some more nurturing than others. You have been shaped by life's experiences, some more pleasing than others. You have been shaped by your experiences and training in this very fine institution of higher learning where you've been stretched academically and rendered competent in your chosen field of study as evidenced by the degree that you are about to receive. But one of the unique aspects about life as a student here is the degree to which activities outside the classroom have stretched you to grow socially and enabled you to work constructively and effectively in an, orga in an organizational setting. Please do not underestimate the invaluable area of development. Please do not underestimate your skills in this area. And, and you have been forced to grow spiritually. Regardless of your belief system, you've been faced with the question, and you faced it head on, is there a God? And if so, yes or no, what does that mean to me? And if yes or no, how do I interact with those who believe otherwise? In any event, you have grown internally. Your inner engine has become more refined. Your inner engine has become more robust. So because you are now stronger, stronger academically, stronger socially, stronger spiritually, you are now an educated and enlightened being. 
you are equipped to succeed in your chosen field, go with the boldness that comes with the confidence in your training, but go with the humility that comes with the knowledge that there's so much more growth that lies ahead. And my last point is this, as you go, you will see that the rest of the world is not like Auburn University. Life happens here, so I know that you have not been isolated, you are not exempt, but outside there is so much more chaos, so much more despair, so many more needs for healing and redemption and clarity. In short, we need you on the outside. We need you in our midst. We need your smile. We need your hopefulness. We need your idealism, your confidence, the purity of your thoughts, not yet tainted by years of cynicism. We need your judgment because common sense isn't really all that common. And really, and we really didn't learn all we needed to learn in kindergarten. And in fact, we really just learned how to hide it. Auburn is a very special place. Every one of you is where you are because of somebody else sitting where you are. Bring to us the spirit of brotherhood and sisterhood. And as you do, please do not make the mistake of believing that you are the first ones with great ideas, that you are introducing light into the midst of darkness. But do come with the intention of adding your light to those fine souls who are already in the fight for hope and healing and reconciliation and all the wonderful things that beauty pageant contestants speak of. The finish line is really just a starting line. Congratulations on making it to the starting line. As you go, I'll offer you my congratulations. As you go, I'll offer you my condolences. But as you go, be strong and courageous. As you go, only be very strong and courageous. And may God bless you as you go. And War Eagle to you all. Thank you, Presiding Justice Melton, for those inspiring remarks. We're very pleased to have you on campus today. It's my pleasure to recognize several groups of students who are graduating with academic honors. First, I would like to recognize those undergraduates who are graduating with honors based on their cumulative grade point averages. Students with a grade point average between 3.4 and 3.59 graduate cum, cum laude. Would those candidates who are graduating cum laude would you please stand and be recognized? Please, please be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 graduate magna cum laude. Would those candidates graduating magna cum laude please stand and be, and be recognized? Students graduating with a 3.8 GPA graduate summa cum laude. Would those candidates for graduation graduating summa cum laude please stand to be recognized. Please be seated. 1979 marked the beginning of the honors program at Auburn University. In 1998, this program became the Honors College. Honors, co Honors College students graduate with the distinction of either University Honors Scholar or Honors Scholar. Would all of those that have earned one of these distinctions please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Thank you. 
Phi Kappa Phi is Auburn University's highest all-discipline academic honorary, and members represent the top 10% of each college and school on our campus. Would all Phi Kappa Phi members please stand and be recognized. Thank you, congratulations. I would also like to recognize the military service members. Would those degree candidates who were recently commissioned into the military services please stand to be recognized. I now ask all active duty service members in the arena today, both graduates and veterans, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your, thank you for your service to our country. Would Dean George Flowers of the Graduate School please come forward? Would Austin Gurley Russell Would Austin Russell Gurley please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the Graduate School, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Austin Gurley, who is receiving a Doctorate of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering. Austin is from Leeds, Alabama. Now would all the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy please rise. <laughs> Trustee Newton, President Leith, and Provost Boosinger, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these doctoral candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the doctoral degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. The Doctor of Philosophy degree is the highest degree awarded in the Academy of Universities. Part of the tradition associated with the awarding of this degree is a special ceremony involving the presentation of a doctoral hood. Would the major professors of the doctoral candidates please escort your graduate to the stage to be hooded as Professor Smith calls their name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Dr. Austin Gurley, hooded by Dr. David Beale. <laughs> Dr. Hyu Yang, hooded by Dr. George Flowers. Dr. Justin Martin, hooded by Dr. Flowers. <laughs> Dr.
Dr. Shanna Willingham, hooded by Dr. Jamie Carney. Dr. Christy Jones, hooded by Dr. Carney. Dr. Sarah Facillo, hooded by Dr. Carney. Dr. Aravin Tekasala, hooded by Dr. Anton Schindler. Dr. Uma Cannon, hooded by Dr. David Umfress. Dr. Anki Zhang, hooded by Dr. Bart Prorock. Dr. Brianna Christian, hooded by Dr. Selen Kramoski. Dr. Charles Essien, hooded by Dr. Brian Vaya. Dr. Avery Livingston, hooded by Dr. Bridget King. Dr. Shikong Huang, hooded by Dr. Minseo Park. Dr. Joseph Ekong, hooded by Dr. Andres Carano. Dr. Hamid Gadia, hooded by Dr. Dan Margitu. Dr. Heidi Tucker, hooded by Dr. James Woody and Dr. Jim Kaminsky. <laughs> Dr. Daniel Free, hooded by Dr. Woody. Dr. Reginald Robertson, hooded by Dr. Maria Whitty. Dr. Shaquille Marsh, hooded by Dr. Whitty. Dr. Carey Melius, hooded by Dr. Whitty. Dr. Shannon McCurdy, hooded by Dr. Ellen Reams. Dr. Bonnie Sullivan, hooded by Dr. Reams. Dr. David Chapman, hooded by Dr. James Lindner. Dr. Rajib Shakya, hooded by Dr. Shushil Akikari. Dr. Richard Garnett, hooded by Dr. Jerry Davis.
Dr. Ying Yang Lu, headed by Dr. James Koo. Dr. Sharon Black, hooded by Dr. Randolph Pipes. Dr. Samuel Ritchie, hooded by Dr. David Carter. Dr. Christopher Rhodes, hooded by Dr. David Beverly. Dr. Menexe Salar, headed by Dr. Richard Sessick. <laughs> Dr. Barry Ye, headed by Dr. Christopher Roberts. Dr. Tarek Anani, headed by Dr. Roberts. Dr. David Rowe, headed by Dr. Roberts. Dr. Daniel Williams, headed by Dr. Adam Jortner. Dr. Sharon Weaver, hooded by Dr. Margaret Shippen. Dr. Clarence Merkerson, hooded by Dr. Rebecca Curtis. Dr. Trishna Patel, headed by Dr. Daniel Svantek. Dr. Zhizheng Wang, headed by Dr. Robert Jackson. Dr. Yang Chu, headed by Dr. Jackson. Dr. Quang Nguyen, headed by Dr. Jeff Suling. Dr. Brooks Mobley, headed by Dr. Michael Roberts. Dr. Christopher Wilburn, headed by Dr. Wendy Weimer. Please join me in congratulating these new doctoral graduates. Now would all the candidates for master's and specialist degrees please rise. <laughs> Trustee Newton. President Leith and Provost Boosinger, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these masters and specialist candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the master's de degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. 
Please be seated. Graduates, you will come forward as Professor Smith calls your name and members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Anna Noling. Edwin Harmon III. Shannon Platzik. Catherine Rice. Angela Thompson. Carly Cronin. Ann Rogi. Amanda Baluk, Jordan Conway, Jonathan Wallace, Cody Plaster, Ricardo Rodriguez, Charles Dennis, Michael Bolt, Haley Harrell. Phyllis Diane Phillips. Kiara McClellan. Ting Cow. Bovin Ann, Callaway Keel, Adi Levenstein, Angela Poor, James Scruggs Jr., Gretchen Alcoy, Sarah Allman. Jesus Gomez. <laughs> Tipasit Cheller Mesherat. Austin Hancock. Tyler Hoover. Hannah Chapel. Anjali Singh. Casey Hill. Natasha Binford, Ashley Graham, Joji, Wei Kai, Herbo Herbo, Evan Miller. Kashmira Prashant Samel, James Tyler, Rachel Young, Goro Rukai, Nabil Rarajvi, Allison Cash. Matthew Hurst, <laughs> Celeste West, Naresh Kumar Chinamili, Karan Badan, 
Sharda Manurka. Srinivas Kandula. Andre Hansford. Sudan Pokorel. Sanjeev KC. Jared Linton. Thomas Abraham Loxley. Jemit Patel. Reynold Christian. Aditya Shah. Yeling Shu. Kui Chuen. Guo Jing. Fong Chong. Chuan Huang. Suzanne Zhe. Managna Perla. Brindley Nelson. Victoria Helen Johnson. Eric Gross. Vincent Sellers. Xing Shi Wei. Bowen Huan. Kaki Fan. Precious Morris. Hannah Stump. Catherine Joa. Brianna Boyd. Hannah Strother Gibbs. Madison Yancey. Joseph Fetch. Tong Xing. Li Jian. Yuxin Kai. Xun Kai Huang. Laura Patillo. Laura Einhorn. Yu Shi Chen. Shen Chen Ma. Alfredo Castro Hilera. Michael Kay. Jasmine Ratliff. Alyssa Comfer. Hu Shanghao. Lena Lee. Madeline Wong. Christopher Kirk. Chelsea Gandy Cromer. Emily Hill. Trey Matthews. Austin Duper. Luo Chi Mao. Zhang Yu Wang. Timothy Marquardt. Nidivita Adlan Thanjaraj. Sanjay Vansudvedan Sujarajan. Kelly Suchman. Julie Kensler Nelson. 
Jinlin Ye. Gabriel Bassi. Li Jin Yu. Brianna Holmes. Brittany Henderson. Shatan Edwards. Ariva Nambi. Nanda Krishman Ramesh. Saradnika Tiaya. Krishna John Sintavela. Jajin Lu. Please join me in, in congratulating our new master's graduates. We now come to the conferring of the undergraduate degrees. Mr. President, the deans of the colleges and schools will come forward and present the candidates who have been approved by the faculty and recommended for the appropriate undergraduate degrees. The candidates of each college and school will stand when presented and then be seated. Dean Betty Lou Whitford, College of Education. Would Mary Morgan Gaston please stand? On behalf of the faculty of the College of Education, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Morgan Gaston, who is receiving a degree in exercise science. Morgan is from Gunter, Guntersville, Alabama. Would all degree candidates from the College of Education please rise? <laughs> Trustee Newton, President Leith, and Provost Businger, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Education, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Dean Christopher Roberts, College of Engineering. Would John William O'Rourke please stand? On behalf of the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Will O'Rourke, who is receiving a degree in computer science. Will is from Kennesaw, Georgia. Would all degree candidates from the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering please stand? <laughs> Trustee Newton, President Leith, and Provost Businger, on behalf of the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering, it's my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Dean Janaki Alavalapati, School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences. Would Seth Tyler Rankins please stand? On behalf of School of Forest and Wildlife Sciences, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Seth Rankins, who is receiving a degree in wildlife ecology and management. Seth is from Caseta, Alabama. Would all degree candidates from School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences please rise? <laughs> Trustee Newton, President Leith, and Provost Businger, on behalf of School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree.
Dean June Hinton, College of Human Sciences. Would Mary Greer Ilgis please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the College of Human Sciences, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Mary Ilgis, who is receiving a degree today in apparel design. Mary is from Columbus, Georgia. Now, would all degree candidates from the College of Human Sciences please rise? <laughs> Christy Newton, President Leaf, Provost Boosinger, on behalf of the Human Sciences faculty, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Thank you. Associate Dean Charles Israel, College of Liberal Arts. Would Jennifer May Walker please stand? On behalf of the faculty of the College of Liberal Arts, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Jennifer Walker, who's receiving a degree in Health Services Administration. Jennifer is from Madison, Alabama. Now would all degree candidates from the College of Liberal Arts please stand. <laughs> Trustee Newton, President Leith, and Provost Businger, on behalf of the College of Liberal Arts, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Will all candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated. <laughs> Graduates, you will now come forward by your college or your school to be introduced as per Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. The School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences, Dean Janaki Alavalapati. Seth Rankins. Jesse Driver. Brian Duke. Jordan Broadhead. Nathan DiCarlo. Emma Vaders. John Paul Camp. Ethan Coger, <laughs> Megan Baggett, Darren Foster, John Richard Davis, Shelby Burgess, Patrick Wilder, Ethan Fowler, Bray Buckner, George Golden, Mark Davis, Stephen Sullivan, the College of Human Sciences, Dean June Hinton, Julie Tiffin, Megan Shields, Rachel Graham, Madison Gaines, 
Alice Taylor. Aaron Marr. Kelly Huggins. Ellen Trotman. Brianna McGowan. Rachel Ruggles. Stephanie Palmer. Taylor Grant. Madeline Schultz. Madison Cotton. Alistair Elizabeth Williams. Clayton Anderson. Aaron Morris. Amanda Statham. Rachel Temples. Mary Greer Ilgis. Catherine Sharpton. Deidre Upshaw. Kelly Weathers. Mariah Eve Budd. Victoria Lee Kirby. Bailey Carmichael. Alexandra Shakespeare. Alexis Brianna Jefferson. Raven Preston. Shakari Cunningham. John Bush. Michael Kibler Jr. Anna Abernethy. Molly Bruns. Caroline Porter. The College of Liberal Arts Associate Dean Charles Israel. Michaela Ray. Abigail Ward. Ella Hudson. Rachel Malden. Melanie Henson. Emma Berry. Sarah Weishar. April Wade. Selena Dukes. Jared Haley. Alexander Horn. Hunter Leopold. Taylor Newton. McLean Berenger. Emery Edmonds. Shelby Slocum. Mary Ellen Neely. Caitlin Hazel. Pierce Ostwalt. Ashley Lancaster. Leslie Lowry. Jordan Whitfin. Lawton Vallely. Madison Alford. Taylor Haynes. Jalen Bryce. Nicholas Buentello. Melda Deverell. Curtis Pippen. Jennifer Walker. Caroline Howell. Hunter Walther. Kayla Kettleson.
Nicole Pierluisi. Sarah Diamond. Alexander Caldwell. Malcolm Atkins. Luke McKnight. Griffin Holmes. Jared Coxall. Hudson Liverance. Edward Taylor. Jasmine Lee. Carrie Hill. Caitlin Taylor. Carol Ann Bryant. Natalie Still. Seth Fowler. Chase Bridges. Trey Edwards. Chastity Howell. Megan Knight. Ashley Case. Blake Bowman. Christine McDonald. Julia Rath. Tyler Chanelli. Kerry Watson Pulliam Jr. Daniel Kaler. Sarah Slife. Hollis Langston. Anaya Cobb. Samantha Bullinger. William Davis. Davis Shelfer. Slayton Lucero. Andrew Gresham. Darius James. Nick Ruffin. Trey Williams. Deshaun Davis. Jalen McGriff. Gabrielle Humber. Hannah Berthon. Tara Trentalanji. Sean Peaty. Edward Ward II. Paul Kornman. Paige Alvin. Maggie Richard. Christina Swindle. Summer Ortiz. Anna Kelly. Lakin Free. Delaney Clevin. Tamara Cook. Devin Gillibo. Brooke Schwartz. Anna Crochet. Jessica Gibson. Christian Page. Parker Geiger. And Marie Leonard. Gary Tyler Norris. 
Paige Needham. Monique Wilmer. Samantha Shapovic. Hannah Grace Thronberry. Audra Elkins. Marky Pearson. Katherine Ackerman. Kayla Warner. Shante Hudson. Neiman Wagner. Daphne Portis. Jesse Bridges. William Hall. Kimberly Bond. Debbie Mitchum. Jordan McHugh. Joshua Isley. William Pruitt. Nicholas Smith. Joshua Lee. Brent Heilman Jr. Miranda Merrill. Austin Ward. Stone Chef. Michael Burke. Margaret Stewart. Peyton Satterfield. Ben Wen. Alexandria Locklear. Gentle Davis. Kaylin Holman. Julia Feldman. Patrick Anderson. Laura Perdue. Emily Reifenberger. Kenneth Head. Channing Glenn. Chase Dowling. Madison Baker. Abigail DeBartelaben. Mary Genevieve Pittman. Aubrey Wiggins. Hannah Mae Rogers. Lindsay Young. Hallie Hendricks. Claire Daniel. Kayla Hunter. <coughs> Kelly Peterson. Kelsey Bixler. Cassandra Gislak. Ashley Allen. Daniel Young. George Miller. Jordan Kipp. Reagan Kipp. Casey Cooper. Brittany Beasley. Rachel King. Claire McDonald. Jada Bishop. Alec Brown, Taylor Johnson, William Ziegler, Emily Knight, Caitlin Martin, Hannah Clark, Anna Klopak. Rebecca Savas, William Buchanan, Desiree Lewis, yeah. 
Julie Thorington. Cassidy Hood. Rebecca Caudill. Destiny Hill. Catherine Boswell. Lauren Boyd. Abby Fleury. Mary Mount. Sierra Shepherd. Margaret Lee. Whitney Sutton. Madison Sloan. Cecily Sloan. Charlie McPherson. Victor Autry II. Ashraf Ali. William Pear. Ebony Mighty. Hayden Hatfield. James Hall. Tiffany Hoistler. Christina Patty. Shelby White. Michaela Howard. Emma Mills, Elise Shepherd, Brianna Robinson, Hunter Davis, Andrew McLean, John Neighbors, Michael Brannan, Jasmine McCurry. Matthew Fields, Haley White, Catherine Smith, Stephanie Harris, Mary Carson Bond, Stuart Gale Chase, Lauren Kistler, Kayla Thompson, Alec Morris, Zachary Egan, Cami Kent, Ryle Smith, Christopher Hogg, Margaret Hurt, Elizabeth McLeod, Derek Flowers, Nina Skinner, Erica Justiniano, Joshua Jackson, Molly Vines, The College of Education, Betty Lou Whitford. Aaron Jackson. Kennedy Thompson. Brooke Ingalls. Chambria Stowe. Aaron Scatlin. Morgan Williamson. Taylor Hill. Mary Ryan, Neely Henry, Jordan Kelly, Savannah Deason, Stephanie Lavoy, Lauren Long, Michael Sherwood. Ike Powell, 
Braden Smith. Hannah Alsback. Courtney Crable. Mayo Onokoya. Darian Lucas. Michael Trav. Christian Law. Timothy Cummins. Sarah Hausler. Caroline Lentz. Brooks Kokus. Jerry Coker. Morgan Gaston. Caitlin Sistruck. Sarah Granger. Caroline Braswell. Benjamin Ritchie. Hansley Dickman. Leah Ader. Perry Catherine Ingram. Katie Lee. Anna Laura Campbell. Leslie Paget. Allie Langston. Sydney Morgan Potter. Molly Barnett. Hannah Stoner. Harris Smith, Emily Holliday, yeah. Alyssa Hicks, yeah. Meredith Barker, Marjorie Dortch, yeah. Anna Bame, yeah. Samantha Macha, yeah. Chloe Harbison. Hunter Cossum, <laughs> Meredith Gray, Rachel King, Elizabeth Chaik, <laughs> Shannon Riley, <Light>. Jared Latham, <laughs> Sydney Hall, <laughs> Taylor Medlock. Morgan Tedder, Christopher Tomlin, Jacqueline Chali, Melanie Schneider, Margaret Fox, Lucy Sanders, Leah Lee, Melissa Bryant, Nicole Bianca. <laughs> Ali Smith. <laughs> Anna Sudoff. <laughs> Rebecca Brad. <laughs> Yanita Jones. <laughs> Gabrielle Dotson. <laughs> Carly Matheson. Kelsey Billings, Bailey Hannaway, Michaela Grover, Ashley Castellanos, Alexandra Welton, Jacqueline Hogan, Kelly Kerr, Elizabeth Messina, Brianna Pitts, Kelsey Clark, Mallory Law, Anna Vale Chancy, Philip Ray. 
Natalie Wade, Stephen Nesmith, Tyler Kelly, Zachary Kane, Keelan Gregg, Tristan Hall, Braxton Hancock, Spencer Walker, Shelby Osborne, Casey Sexton, Susanna Bagwell, Stephanie Sorrell, Laurel Tolbert, Chase Cheney, Jamie Dewberry, Adam Willis, Jonathan Barker, Catherine Gilly, Sarah Hartman, Jenna Dickey, Zachary Brown, Sarah Gordon, Lindsay LaCure, Hannah Rose Dorowski, Tyler Bailey, Curtis Glaze, Lauren Padgett, Kendall Brooks, Kirsten Hyatt, Nora Estes Cox, Cortland Stowe, Christopher Gregory, Kyle Nuneman, Kohler Constantine, Shelby Staniland, Jessica Boyd, Kevin Johnston, Melissa Rumbley, Colton Miller, Elliot Reisman, Abigail Armstrong, Ashley Guidry, Alyssa Patterson, Kelsey Makemson, Allison Wyckoff, Whitney Jordan, Megan Larson, Taylor Sullins, William Ferris, Patricia Flack, Annabeth Goodson, the College of Engineering, Dean Christopher Roberts, Chase Council. Ethan Landon, Garrett Monday, Second Lieutenant Trevor Mercer, Second Lieutenant Nathaniel Herzog, Second Lieutenant Wesley Vile, Second Lieutenant Bradley Scoggins, Second Lieutenant Austin Mills, Andrew Roop, Elijah Stewart, Dalton Stewart, 
Peter Cottle, Adam Farrow, Houston Lawness, Grant Rogers, Corin Lavoy, Zachary Smith, Jesse Akosbeck, Avion Foreman, Nagaria Davis, Daniel Richardson, Meva Chanoir, Alexandra Phillips, Evan Dean, Harrison Forder, Second Lieutenant Marcella Smith, Banu Sharma, Mitchell Price, John Harrison, John O'Rourke, James Phillips, Benjamin Luttrell, Robert Norwood, Duncan Asbury, Jessica Hill, Chance Martin, Curtis Towers, Micah Hatley, Peter Sousa, Amanda Snyder, Ping Jo Hu, Benjamin Sear, Jacob Luck, Jesse Burroughs, Thomas Craven, Augusta Narguello, Robert Scantz, Laura Young, Caroline Taylor, Thomas Jacobowski, Joseph Schultz, Justin Lockhart, Trevor Petsky, Alex Recker, Daniel Thomas, William Collins, Jake Wittstein, Daniel Payne, Jacob Locker, Stephen Smelly, Andrew Davis, Jared Baggett, Mark Beverly, Dustin De La Garza, Benjamin Ritter, John May, Austin Gibson, Jackson Adams, James Matthews, Mary Rickmeyer, Blake Wade, Lydia Kennedy, Robin Manhard, Austin Lindsay, Wilson Parker, Corson Hopkins, David Goldhagen, Jessica Moore, Andrew Sprayberry, Tyler Jewell, Matthew Wyatt, Colin Stelle, Ensign Ryan Sykes, David Almadover, 
John Heil, Catherine Parr, Garrett Joy, Elijah Holt, Leighton Lingerfelt, Joshua Adamson, Jordan Box, Morgan Hood, Nicholas to college, Daniel Moat, Stephen Gregory Whipple Jr. Charles Jennings, Riley Clagus, Christopher Perry, Andrew Calhoun, John Howerton, Robert Liao, Grant Schumacher, Nelson Newman, Second Lieutenant Matthew Curran, Brett Olson, Ali Abair, William Stewart, Tanner Wells, Caleb Brookins, Andrew Forbes, Austin Fry, Patrick Snell, Brian Cook, Aaron Edwards, Ensign Thomas Brown, Neil Harris, Troy Ephraim Jr., Stephen Lerdo de Tejada, Samenda Gunalaptika, Daniel Conforti, Corey Holmes, Benjamin Williams, Scott Atkins Jr., Vernon Trice the Third. Austin Seeley, Arthur Bond III, Adam Magnus, Elias Lee, Ethan Hofer, Colin Jett, Ryan Skinner, Nathaniel Pendergrass, Garrett Gorski, Stephen Powers, Kristen Bolt, Michael Halverson, Jeju Jean, Ryan Burrow, Parker Rowley, Chesa Halpin, Catherine Cunningham, Jade Newton, Grant Cordell, Michael Calloway, Stephen Shirley, Robert Lagan IV, Sam Stern, Napoleon Pleasant, Ebony Sankey, Shawanda Crawford, Joshua Williams, 
Nicholas Harrell. Ryan Blackwell. Chase Jackson. Donovan Johnson. Jacob Matrella. Braxton Sherrod. Robinson Davis. Richard Legacy III. Peyton Walker. Charles Robertson Jr. Cody Wilson. Ensign Andrew Holt. Ensign James Thomas Jr. Stephen Jones. Allison Van. Richard Bradley. Lance Haver Jr. Brockford McCorkle. William Gilbert. Brian Drake. I'm good. I'm good. Solomon Brackett. Jake Bryson. Mason Glover. Chuen Hao Lu, Winston Sinor, Alexander Quadrini, Stephen Clark, Ryan Campbell, Wan Lao, Derek Cook, Austin Tillery, Jake Bowes, Jack Cape, Robert Stockhausen, Anthony Hill Jr., Trevor Harris, Graduates, you are now part of the Auburn Alumni family. Gretchen Van Valkenburg, the Vice President for Alumni Affairs and Executive Director for the Auburn Alumni Association, is here to welcome you to this exceptional group. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Van Valkenburg. Thank you, Dr. Leith. Congratulations and War Eagle. Now that you have completed the academic requirements and earned your Auburn University degree, you join a group of alumni who, like you, believe in work, hard work, honesty, and truthfulness, and a spirit that is not afraid. Auburn University alumni have used their degrees to serve others, better their communities, and succeed in ways they may never have imagined when they wore their cap and gown on their day of graduation. I have no doubt that each of you will do the same. You became a member of the Auburn family when you made the decision to attend Auburn University. You made friends that will last a lifetime, greeted strangers at heyday, 
and rolled to Merce Corner after a big win, probably several this year. You studied, you played, and you belonged. Would all Auburn alumni in attendance today please stand and be recognized? Come on, that's you, that's you. Thank you, you may be seated. Today, it is my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the Auburn Alumni Association. You have been greeted by our Auburn Alumni Association board members and received an official Auburn alumni pin when you cross the stage. Next month, you'll receive an Auburn alumni decal that you, we hope you will display proudly. As you head out into the world, please remember that your Auburn Alumni Association is here to assist you in staying and connected with this wonderful university and to one another. Whether you decide to stay in the loveliest village or you move across continents, there are plenty of ways to stay close to Auburn. I encourage you to connect to the vast alumni network. Download the Auburn Alumni Directory app, the information that you have on your card. Find a little local alumni club or affiliate group. Get connected with them. Stay in touch with your school or your college. And once you're established, we'd like to hear from you. Please submit a story. We have a wonderful young alumni blog that I'm sure will be loaded with wonderful stories from you. You can visit our website, explore numerous programs and services that are available to you, as well as just catch up on Auburn news through our Auburn magazine. Welcome again to your Auburn Alumni Association. I am so proud to share this great day with you. It is my hope that each of you will always love Auburn and believe in it. Congratulations again and War Eagle. As we conclude our ceremony, I'd like to take a moment for us to recognize those who have made this day possible. Please join me in thanking Auburn University's graduation committee and all those who have worked so hard to make this ceremony a success. <laughs> Graduates, thank you for choosing Auburn University. It has been our pleasure to serve you as educators, mentors, and friends. You may now turn your tassels to the left. <laughs> Graduates, we are very proud of you. The degree you received will aid in your future endeavors, both professional and personal. We're all excited to see the mark that each of you will leave on the world. May you experience a truly successful life. On behalf of Auburn University, congratulations and War Eagle. We will now conclude our ceremony with the singing of the alma mater led by Matthew Hawk. Would everyone please stand and remain standing until the platform party, faculty, and new doctors have recessed from the arena. Students, you may drop off your cap and gown when you exit. 